Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and now we have a case of an isolated tear of the medial collateral ligament from its distal attachment. So here we go. This is we were looking straight at the knee. This is the outer side of the knee, the lateral side. This is the inner side of the knee, the medial side. And up top we have the femur, and down below we have the tibia, and off to this edge we have the fibula, so to get oriented. And over here we have the lateral compartment. Here's the medial compartment. And so the outsides of the knee are held together by these complexes. The lateral side has called, it was called the lateral collateral ligament complex. You have this fibular collateral ligament that comes down and it attaches with this biceps muscle that turns into a tendon. And they form the conjoined tendon that attaches here to the fibula. That looks good out here laterally. But if we look on the medial side, we have a medial collateral ligament. It's a single thing. And the MCL or medial collateral ligament has a thick outer fibers and this thin inner capsular fibers. So I'm going to zoom this on up. So on this patient, we have the thick outer fibers are right here. They come off the femur, and they come down here, and they attach down to the tibia down here. And instead of being nice and straight and taut, we see that the outer fibers, these thick outer fibers, are lax, and they kind of make a wave here. So we know that they are ruptured distally and recoiled back, and that's why they look so lax like this. Now, the inner capsular fibers are adherent to the medial collateral, I'm sorry, the medial meniscus. This is the medial meniscus, and usually they are stuck right together. I can see there's a little bit of separation there, so there's an injury of the medial meniscus capsular junction, but that little linear band there looks like the capsular fibers that are maybe partially torn or partially separated from the uh, medial meniscus body. But the main thing is the outer fibers that attach way down here are torn back and they're retracted. And it's rare to see that. Sometimes we see this with soccer players. The tibia down here will swing out laterally under pressure, and then it puts too much strain on the medial collateral ligament, and poof, it'll pop. Normally it'll pop at the joint line or up here near the, near the femoral attachment. So it's odd to see this isolated injury. Now in the same patient, we see um, the same thing here, but this is a different sequence where anything abnormal is bright. So you can see this brightness here outlining the medial meniscus I'm sorry, the medial collateral ligament tear. So here's the medial collateral ligament coming down, looping around, and it ends right there's the edge of it. And you can see that fluid surrounding it. It also surrounds these other couple things. You see these other two little dots down here? Here are these two dots. They're going down, 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 and they attach just below the medial collateral ligament here. These are the pes and serine tendons. These are two of the three components of the pes and serine tendons, and they may be sprained, but they're not completely torn, and they're just outlined by this fluid associated with this medial collateral ligament uh, rupture here, this distal rupture. So that is it, and thank you very much.